Hey everybody, Marcus here. My video on the MGTOW migrant crisis proved to be very productive. We had several of the large channels make an appearance in the comments section. The discourse was as civil and solution oriented as one could hope. Several ideas emerged from the discourse. Among these ideas was the introduction of a community channel, which in turn would host videos contributed from the MGTOW community at large. However, all the ideas do call for some level of coordination between the content producers and the community. The challenge I see in any such proposition relates to trust. The typical concerns relating to any joint initiatives center around the concern of creating a hierarchy within MGTOW. Now, whatever the solutions would look like in bringing in a new renaissance in content, they will come in the wake of alleviation of fears. Now, some have mentioned in the comments that MGTOW, well, is not a community, but a philosophy or a way of life or just some guys making videos. Indeed, MGTOW proper is not a community. What we call the MGTOW community could possibly be described in the following terms. There's a platform we call YouTube. This platform allows people to upload and watch videos. There are hundreds of men who upload videos thematically aligned to the concept of MGTOW. There are tens of thousands more who in turn watch these videos. The content creators talk to those who watch and to each other as well. What we call the MGTOW community can be described as a video club. A video club run by, for, and populated with MGTOW men. We want to see our video club flourish. Our video club used to be predominantly nature shows, educational science videos, and cultural expositions. With those sorts of videos, our club members were the sort who enjoyed that material. At some point, the nature shows became less common. They were replaced with talk shows. Our science shows were replaced by reality TV. With this replacement of programming, our club saw the flight of members who were there for the nature shows. In addition to this, our club saw an influx of members who liked reality TV. No surprise there. Well, I think the sentiment is that we want to recapture a little bit more of those nature and science shows. We want to try and get this club to look a bit more like what it did before. To this end, both the content producers and those who like the old nature shows need to do their part. Here's what I plan to do as my part. Firstly, it is very difficult for new channels to be discovered. In order to help encourage new producers to appear on the scene, I will begin running an incubator program. This means that I will be accepting introductory videos to channels. If you have a channel with at least five videos and wish for me to upload your promo video to my channel, please send it on to me. However, this is not a general call for any and all MGTOW channels. I will only accept videos from producers who fit the spirit of the video club I want to belong to. As such, if the five videos on your channel turn out to be ponage videos, opinion pieces, venting, or unscripted, I will not be promoting them. The channels I want to bring to the spotlight will have scripted videos. They will be fueled by research, thought through philosophical argumentation, or demonstrate an expertise in whatever the theme of your channel is. Channels that deal with high culture will also be considered. For example, if you wish to run a Christian channel and cover the papal encyclicals or deal with the theological subjects like divine aseity, middle knowledge, or engage in historical research as to development of religions in general, I will promote that. If you have extensive knowledge of music and wish to muse as to the introduction of the leitmotif in Wagnerian opera, I will promote that too. If you love art and plan on documenting the transition from Egyptian to Hellenic Apollonian form, then that too I will promote. If you are a mathematician and you want to run a channel where you provide detailed breakdowns of the statistical models used in the studies commonly cited in MGTOW content, you too I will promote. The key is that your channel must display some form of excellence about something. It needs to be not necessarily academic grade expertise, but Definitely some insight that cannot be gleaned in 15 minutes of Googling the subject. If you believe you fit this mold, then send me a link to the intro video you would like me to host. This intro video can be as long as you wish, but should be something you have explicitly crafted for this purpose and not something you have already made. One suggestion is to begin with an introduction of yourself and your channel, and then jump right into a subject that showcases what one can expect from your work. Now. In addition to my incubator program, I will host guest videos. The guest videos clearly need to follow the same rules as I have outlined for my incubator program. 
Guest videos, however, differ in that they not, need not come from someone with a channel. If you do not have a channel but have some insights you wish to unleash on the MGTOW community, then you are free to submit it to me for consideration. Ideally, this will be a full video. However, audio alone is also acceptable as long as it is reasonably clear. Finally, I will also accept scripts in Word format that I would record and read out on behalf of the contributor. However, if you plan on submitting a script, make sure it is solid, well-researched, spelling and grammar checked, and is out of the box ready to be recorded. I have no intention of serving as an editor for those submitting scripts. I will either accept or reject them with a handful of comments. I will not be playing a back and forth in terms of revisions either. If I reject a script, I will not pursue a revised version unless I explicitly say so in my comments in the rejection. Guest videos can be credited or anonymous. However, guest videos must not contain any copyrighted material whatsoever, not even fair use artifacts. Any person can submit as many guest videos as they wish. However, I do have one more stipulation. Your submission must be new content, and if you already run a YouTube channel, you are not allowed to host the video on your channel as long as it is on mine. I am not offering a mirroring service here. Now, the incubator program and guest video program will be run as a pilot for one month. I will see what happens in that one month. If there's not enough interest or not enough quality submissions, I will abandon it. If it turns out that there is indeed sufficient interest and quality, I will have proven the viability of a community channel. If the pilot program is a success, it could morph into a community channel in general. Alternatively, new information may come to light through running this pilot that will result in a completely new idea altogether. My selectiveness in terms of what I am willing to host should be straightforward to understand. With each video I host, I attach my own credibility to it to some extent. If I were to flood my own channel with content that would repel my existing subscribers, they will unsubscribe and my reputation would be damaged. Now, other content creators can do the same sort of programs on their channels if they so choose, and can decide their own selection criteria. The videos I host will only be videos I would want to watch myself and see more of in the community. If you are interested in participating, please PM me a link to your video. If you want to submit a script, then PM me when it is ready and I will provide you with my email address. Any questions you may have about this pilot, please ask them in the comments section. Though my channel is not enormous, one or two videos boosted by a channel of 7,500 subs can have enough impact to keep a new channel motivated. The submissions I receive, if accepted, will be released at a frequency of no more than one video per day. Incubator and guest videos will also be clearly marked in the title, so there is no confusion as to who is the original creator. Outside of the content of the videos themselves, production value will also be considered. If there is a massive, annoying hum, I will reject the video. If it is hard to hear the speaker, I will reject the video. Now, the success of this pilot program will ultimately come from the community. If there is hunger to see a renaissance of MGTOW videos, then it needs to be made manifest through your labor. The best any content creator can do is help facilitate that. Guys, I know you have it in you. It's time to make it happen. So, like never before, go team!